So here's the way I see it. The, the, the real estate market, which, which is directly connected, obviously, to the mortgage industry, those are the two industries that I serve, mortgage and real estate. The real estate industry, depending on the market that you're in, has certainly contracted. Um, there's no doubt that, that overall the market is shrinking. And here's how I'd like you to look at it with me for just a moment. Um, I often talk in seminars about how the, the, the market used to be a pie that was like the shape of a hula hoop, right? It was this really big pie, and that anybody who got a real estate license had a fork. And so there were lots of people out there with forks in this pie. And it could be the person that dabbled in real estate, that had a license, that showed up for a real estate meeting every once in a while and went on caravan, sold a few houses a year. You know, it could be NAR's average of three and a half houses a year, which is what they tell us now is what the average realtor sells. But it could also be the person that was very serious about their business and wanted to build it, and they might have doubled that. They, they might have sold seven houses a year or 10 or 20. And... Now we look at a contracting market, and now let's picture that same real estate market, but shrinking down to like the size of a Frisbee, like actually a normal size pie. And so now there's forks in it, but there's fewer forks because people leave the business, people get tired of it, they complain that it's too difficult, and they leave. So they take their fork, and they go home. They just go away. So now take a look at the people that I interview, my, my audio interview series, talkjet.net, that I do every month, for, I've done for 15 years. I get an opportunity to talk to real estate agents in today's market that are closing a minimum of 60 transactions a year, many of them well in excess of that, and they don't have a fork. They've got a spatula. And the thing is, is they've taken a completely different approach to their business. And rather than just sort of stumbling into business, stumbling into people that might be interested in buying or selling um, almost by accident. They have a very deliberate approach to their business. And so they've figured out that the idea behind the spatula is that they can get a larger piece of the pie in a contracting market and actually, if not just break even, you know, do the same business they did last year or two years ago, but in many cases gain market share and do more business. And when I think about the spatula, I think about the things that they do differently. And they focus on things like their database. They make sure that they have all of the data that they should have, cell phones, physical addresses, uh, email addresses. They populate that. They stay in, in frequent contact with their database, just about the market in general, not, not dialing for dollars like I call bank account by body count, not calling after people to see if they're interested in buying or selling today, but just reaching out and connecting to, with them. The, the, what we know is the consumer is slammed by the media, slammed. Anytime there's anything on, on real estate, it's, it's you know yard sign after yard sign after yard sign and all the horrible things that are going on in the market. And, and the thing that doesn't make news is the fact that there are some people who are doing really well right now and are taking advantage of this dramatic market. So they're staying in touch with their database. They're putting systems together, and there's so many great systems out there right now for generating leads. And in many cases, they're doing that in conjunction with their lender. So their mortgage lender now really truly becomes a partner with them in terms of lead generation and lead incubation. The real estate industry, i got to tell you, historically, has not done a very good job with lead incubation. We would deal with the transaction that was kind of right out there in front of our forehead, you know, that was going to pay us 60, 90, 120 days down the road, but we weren't real concerned as an industry with six months from now, nine months from now, this person might be a viable buyer next year. And what I'm seeing is the spatula people, they're doing a really good job with that. And they're focusing on people with low credit scores. They're focusing on people who have had a, a, a tough time financially, who are renting, but might want to look at purchasing down the road. And they're gathering those people up and tightening up their systems. So what I want to challenge you to do and challenge you to think about, whether you're on the mortgage side or the real estate side, is do you have a fork or do you have a spatula? And if you don't have a spatula, let's look at some of those areas that I talked about so that you feel like that speeding car that just went down the road and you are moving through the market with more efficiency and more focus on getting a larger percentage of a shrinking pie.